Hi, oh my god, you're Syrian. I'm with another real life tech profile, and now I am finally showing my absolute favorite tech, my professor deck. I have been um, building this deck in real life uh, for a while. I couldn't do it uh, for a quite long time because of the fact that the cars were pretty expensive, but uh, as time I uh, went on and uh, more and more cards got reprinted and I finally got a deck but then uh, another obstacle came in the form of a spell book of knowledge uh, so that card also was pretty expensive and I couldn't really complete the deck so yeah but now it's essentially complete but we, we have a new support, com support card coming soon as well in the form of Crowley the first Professor, and that's going to change up the deck quite a bit. So I guess uh, let's go to the deck. So first, of course, the monsters. So first, I use a uh, two uh, word of professor. It's uh, of course a very good card. Um, uh, you basically essentially summon it with temperance or revive the spell of life, and then you get the effect that. You can um, add two spell books from the, from, from the graveyard pack to your hand, and those has an extra effect that you can you can reveal four different spell books then, and then you can uh, blow up the field essentially. But of course, the second effect can be hard to uh, hard to resolve, of course, sometimes or most of the time because obviously it's pretty hard to get uh, four different spell books to your hand. Uh, although of course not in impossible for sure, but uh, you cannot summon any other monsters, besides any other monsters, um, you activate this effect, so you have to be careful. Then around uh, two high priestess of prophecy, my absolute uh, favorite uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card, of course, really good, and uh, you reveal um, three uh, spell, books, spell cards in your hand, and then you can spell someone this card from the hand, and also you can banish a spell book from the hand or graveyard, and then you can um, destroy one card on the field, which is definitely pretty good. Then triple temperance of prophecy, the main way to bring out high priestess and word of prophecy. So of course, uh, really good. Um, essentially, if you activate uh, activate a spell book spell card in, in the same turn. You can tribute this card to someone at a level of higher 5 or higher spellcaster from the deck, but you cannot spell someone any other level of 5 or higher monsters during the same turn. So definitely a really good card. Then the main monster essentially, a free spell spellbook magician of prophecy. If you know about someone this card, or it's a fifth face up, you can add any spellbook spell card from the deck to your hand. Definitely very necessary, really good of course. Yeah. Then some other monsters, one Stoic Prophecy, essentially if this card is sent to the graveyard by in any way, you can add a, a, a level 3 Prophecy monster from the deck to your hand. That's definitely pretty good. And then the last monsters are, are Triple Effect Veiler, just a effect negation and, and essentially the only hand trap I can afford. So yeah, definitely pretty good. And so that was the monsters in the main deck. So now let's see the spell cards. Of course, first is a triple spell book of secrets. Of course, really good. If you activate it, you can add any spell book uh, card from your deck to your hand. So that includes spell book magician of prophecy. Uh, but you know, you can only activate one of these per turn. So of course, really good. Then two spell book library of the crescent. Essentially, uh, if you have no spell book spell cards in your graveyard, you will activate it. Then you reveal three different spell books and. One of them is added randomly to your hand. So that's really pretty good just to get that extra consistency. And a uh, third spellbook in the graveyard as well for spellbook fate. Then I run two spellbook knowledge that got uh, reprinted in the Mega Ten, so I finally could uh, get it actually. So essentially, you can uh, send to the graveyard either one spellbook or monster uh, you control or a spellbook. Um, a card from a hand or face up on a field to the graveyard and then you can draw two cards so that's the really really good to get the extra advantage and uh, get more spell books to the graveyard and whatnot so that's the really really amazing 
then two Spellbook Masters that can copy the effects of a normal Spellbook spell cards. Definitely very essential as well. Two Spellbook Alternative to recycle banish the Spellbook uh, spell cards. One Spellbook of Power to, yeah, for Spellcasters to gain more attack. So we're gonna attack over like bigger monsters and get an extra search as well. Then essentially your main disruption card and essentially the power house of the deck is two spells of fate. So essentially the third effect is really the most relevant that you banish three spell books to banish any card uh, your opponent controls and it doesn't target as well. So that's really amazing, can pretty much get rid of any anything your opponent has. Uh, the second effect is pretty good as well that you can put anything uh, face down in defense or face up attack position. So can be pretty good as well. The first effect is not really relevant much at all. Essentially, you can just banish one and then um, put one set spell or trap card from your on the field back to the hand. So yeah, then one spell of wisdom. So essentially like Forbian Lands type card for this deck. So that would be pretty good. Then two grand spell good uh, tower. Of course, one of your main ways for you to re retain card advantage. So of course you put the uh, spell book, uh, spell uh, from your okay, back to the bottom, or bottom of the deck and then you throw an extra card in your standard phase. So that's really really amazing. And the final spell card is spell book of life to revive your uh, uh, spell cards from the graveyard. So that's pretty good as well. So that was spells. Now let's see the trap cards. So first run, one slam judgment, just pretty good. And also one Swan of Warning. Probably going to replace them once the Link Monster comes out. But they are still pretty good. Then I run Triple Palazoic Dynamiscus. The reason why I run it because the Word of Prophecy is a complete brick in the hand. So you need something to put it back to the put it to the graveyard so you can re revive it with something like Spell Group of Life. So that's why I use it. I use this instead of like Karma Cut or Phoenix Wing Wing Blast or Divine Rat because of the fact that even if this card gets negated, you don't then don't have to discard the card then. Um, so yeah, that's why I use this and access extra monster as well if you activate another trap. And then I run Triple Storming Mirror Force. One of the main problems this deck has is that uh, if you encounter like a um, a deck that uh, massively spams monsters and or tries to attack you, uh, then uh, you can just use this and like uh, bounce away all of those like link monsters and whatnot or some other X deck monsters as well. So that was traps. Now let's see the X deck. It's a very small X deck right now because uh, you don't really need the X deck in this deck, uh, especially right now before the link monster comes out. And you can just uh, add any like other rank 7s or rank uh, 2s or rank 3s if you want to or like some, some link uh, monsters that are spellcaster or something like that. But otherwise you don't really need text deck so I don't really need to show the whole thing because yeah you can just add anything you want more or less. But the uh, cards you need are like one uh, Hero Front of Prophecy, just a pretty good card in general. Uh, not the greatest card, but it's still I think you want to have it just in case. One the organization to overlay over your uh, um, rank three, rank twos, or uh, rank ones even in the future. The shining elf because it's a rank two spell cost with the highest attack. And finally, got you cutting on that so of course a really good rank two as well. So that was the deck for now at least. So yeah. So, uh, that was my real life prophecy uh, deck profile. Uh, it's my, of course, my favorite arch type and deck. Um, obviously, it's not anything very competitive because the thing is, this deck is painfully slow. So, you definitely going to have some trouble against like the modern or uh, top tier decks. But it's still a very fun deck to play. And I'm, obviously, I'm going to continue playing with this deck. I'm going to update the deck uh, once the Link Monster comes out. And I might post show the dark version of the deck as well. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, real life deck profile. For now, goodbye and Omeakios! Oh